Yeah. SD, let's, let's look at the, the, the situation. You, you just spoke presently about uh, the current situation. Uh, yesterday, suffering your health loss um, in the league. How do you feel this as um, management? Terrible. Look, we don't want to be uh, sitting and talking about a team has lost eight, eight goals and considered 20 plus goals. You know, so I think um, it's a no-brainer. We are not happy with having lost eight games, uh, being in position five. Um, we're a big team. Success is, is uh, demanded. At the same time, having said that, uh, I mean, there's so many games this year where we've looked at it and been, how did we not come away with the four points in that game? You know, we've created an immense amount of chances this season, immense amount of chances. We haven't taken them, and we've conceded a lot of goals. You know, football is, is, can be a very simple game. You know, you've got to score to win and close the back door. Uh, I think it's very clear for the technical staff, uh, you know, the areas where they need to work on. And I think it's for our side as management uh, to, to work on the areas that we see fit and where we can um, contribute to help the technical staff. So I think that um, it's not a good situation to be in. At the same time, there, there have been many positives. We're sitting here with a, a young Duzi Shabalala who's, who's 18, he just scored yesterday second goal of the season, uh, an immense talent. It speaks to uh, a lot of the, the planning and planned preparation from our academy recruitment uh, and how we plan to integrate that into the first team. So um, I think, you know, looking forward and predicting our, our way forward, uh, the only way we can rectify this is to get the results in the day uh, and to uh, change the tide, as I said. Do you think that the, the current technical team has enough experience to get through to this enough? Because obviously you look to experience in players as well, but in the technical team, it's the first time that all these head coaches and assistant coaches, so do you think they have enough experience to get over this? Um, if I had to ask you, what is experience? You know, anyone who has experience, they got it by doing their job. You know, so I think um, we are, as a management again, I mean, this is from the board of directors to the chairman, you know, we've, we've given a, a young coach a, an opportunity um, uh, at the helm. Uh, and again, you know, from our side, it's for us to just support him with the right resources, support him with the right players, uh, and provide the right environment for him to succeed. Um, I think just having, you know, looking at the question you just asked, um, sitting in position five uh, is not where we want to be. But if you look at the short turnaround time and how the kind of brand of football he's, he's, he's managed to make us play, it's a positive. Uh, and, and right now it's not a time to talk about you know, positives because our, our fans want the results, they want trophies and, and that's the objective, right? But at the end of the day, um, uh, technical staff are, are hard at work and I think, like I said earlier, they know the, the areas that they need to rectify and work on and I know that they are, are not sleeping tirelessly and they're making sure they, they do. Um, have you spoken to Coach previously? Yeah. We've always had, and you always have plans to, to, to build your, your technical team. Um, you need to bring the right expertise, uh, the right level of expertise, and at the right time. And uh, you know, whether it's, it's backroom staff, or technical team staff, or even management roles, uh, we're always looking to improve, and we're always looking to uh, see what the modern trends of football are, and not do things for the sake of doing them, other clubs are doing them. It's got to work. Everything's got to be functional, and everything's got to add value. You know? So at the moment in time, um, we are obviously just you know, giving as much support as we can, uh, and the technical staff are are giving the, the utmost efforts to make sure that we can turn the corner. Is there a certain target? Um, I know that previously you spoken about going back to the Champions League um, and also maybe finishing in a better position than finish. But is there a specific target um, that you are expecting uh, from this new project? See, so the tough part about it is we're sitting here and we've sat in an countless press conference where the same question can be asked. The target as a big club will always be to to get silverware, right? Whether whatever we're working on in the background, on a practical level, uh, and the plans that we have, but we have to do our best to get silverware, play a brand of football that our fans can resonate with, and bring success to the club. You know, so how you navigate that and how you bring that about, and in what span of time, that's the work in between that's very important. But um, of course, right now we're obviously going to try our best to finish as high as we can. 
Netbank Cup is a cup that's on offer for all the teams, and I think it's um, yeah, it's, it's a cup that also invokes a lot of hope. Uh, and obviously, we're going to the Netbank Cup to try and do our best as we can. But uh, it's, you know, whether you ask me this question now or begin the season or even next season, as Kaiser Chiefs, we know we need to be doing our best, and our targets always so. Well. What happened? Uh, with the supporters, you know, just uh, seemingly saying, you know, the coach, you don't want to have a club and so forth, but it's a small number of uh, supporters. No. Uh, like again, I think uh, it's um, from the, our, our board of directors, our chairman. You know, we're fully behind the coach, uh, and again, our job is to provide the right infrastructure and support as we can. Uh, you know, the thing is, it's, it's a tricky one for him too because, you know, we're facing a pirate, for example, uh, a pirate who have this perceived our, uh, this amazing run, but who are three points ahead of us. We've drawn the same amount of games. I think they've won one more than us. We've scored maybe one more goal, so it's fine margins, uh, and it's fine margins also in perception. You know, so we've got a, also a team above us who haven't won a game in the last seven, but they're sitting number three. You know, so at the moment in time, the most important thing is uh, for a lot of calmness and support. And um, I think that's what's really, really important for technical staff and the players because at the end of the day, um, you know, emotions and, and, and perception can be misleading. We need to make sure that everyone can be objective as possible. And we just ask that, you know, um, we can all support the technical staff and support the players because at the end of the day, uh, you know, our situation could be changed in a game or two, you know, and it cannot. So it's, it's literally about what we do moving forward and we want to really focus on, on moving forward uh, and rectifying the situation. You knew there was going to be hiccups. You knew there was going to be hiccups. Um, obviously, we're taking such a bold decision at the start of the season and yeah. it's easy to paint that negative narrative. Yeah. But what are the positives that you can take from the season so far? Well, a lot of positives is that we've gone back to our culture of integrating our youth, you know. That's, that's, that's a massive component for us, right? And it's something that we're always going to continue to do moving forward. Secondly, you know, not enough is said about the brand of football we play. Yes, there have been games where, like in any, in any, in any situation, I mean, we found Man City lost to Southampton, you know, a team that's um, bottom of the log. You know, so for me, it's a case of we, we, we need to be objective. And if we are looking at the kind of football we're playing, like Itu said earlier, you know, um, there's been a mass improvement. You know, we are on the ball, we're attacking, you know, and, and that's the kind of style that we have planned to play for. And uh, at the same time, like I said, the youth project is, is close to our hearts and it's bearing fruit with the, you know, the doozy you can sit here after, you know, a great performance yesterday uh, at a mere 18 years old. So I think um, uh, you can't put out words of process and, and rebuilding because people at the moment in time don't want to hear that. But we know that we have to uh, fix our situation and there's a certain foundation that we have to work from and, we are, and we're trying to do that.